All right, we're back. We've got some This Week in Survivor history. If you're just joining us, Rob Sestrino back here, ready to take on another titan of the new era, not just in trivia, but in Survivor as well. I'm going to have my work cut out for me here this week as my great friend Omer Zahir is back. Omer, how are you? I'm great, and I'm actually a trivia rebel coming out to take out the trivia titan. Trivia so. titan. Okay. Well, yeah. Omer, uh, that since you're here with us, and this is a great honor to have you uh, back here, I'm going to give you the privilege of introducing the host of Twish. Oh, how what an honorable... Um, will you bequeath such an honor upon me? This is Jordan Kalish, and I asked Jordan today, he's going to bring some tough questions to us. So... Yes. I did. Yes, I, I got to bring it. So sometimes when I'm at work, I get I get a uh, calls, a uh, butt dials from from Omer. But sometimes True. I get messages, and they are on purpose. And yes, Omer said, "Bring the tough questions." I yes. ain't no B. I am going to come in there, and I'm going <laughs> to yeah. beat Rob. <laughs> yes, Omer, you you are that much in contact with Jordan that he is a frequent butt dial of yours. It I feel like it's a... usually like the last person you called. No, not for me. Maybe for you, but yeah, not for me. Okay. I saw his workplace. He saw my pocket and then my workplace. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, it was a pocket you, FaceTime. Worst case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And I, I was very I was very confused at the time. I was I was with a class. I was like, why why is Omer call, calling me? I get okay, a message, a message is one thing. I mean, we we often uh, will talk about uh, survivor sporkles and various mm -hmm. other uh, survivor trivia topics. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it, it was good to get the it was good to see your ceiling, Omer, and uh, it was uh I had to go in the hallway and, and be like, why is why is this uh, th this Survivor Titan calling me? But Omer is back after a uh, a, a great run uh, where he took on his friends Marianne and Zach Wurtenberger this past summer, right? Mm -hmm. Was that was yeah. that the summer? I think it was. The I don't think no. Omer has ever gotten a question wrong on Survivor trivia. Is that correct? I got one wrong. One but wrong. It was okay. I, missed, I didn't understand the question. Okay. Which Poorly is very uncommon question. for Twitch. Yeah. Yes. That's never never okay. happened before. Well, all right. That so Omer is here to be playing for one hundred dollars for the charity of his choice after Jake O'Kane cleaned me out last week. Uh yeah. he took home three hundred dollars. Well, he didn't he for the charity of his choice. Uh Omer, who are you playing for today? I'm playing for the Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, which, you know, a lot of people know. I, I felt bad not doing an animal charity, but like, you know, my yeah. dad had pulmonary fibrosis. So let's people go with that. Animals. And next time I come on here, it'll be for an animal charity. Okay. All right. So sounds like a great cause. Jordan, wh what are we talking about today? In episode five. Yes, we have the, the all the episode fives in Survivor history, or more specifically, we have six episode fives from Survivor history. We have Survivor Marquesas, Thailand, Palau, Blood versus Water, Winners at War, and Season 45. So those are the six seasons that we are dealing with today. As always, Omer is going to have the uh, the, the, the first choice of season since he is the guest. Uh, if you get the question right without using the multiple choice, you get two points. If you get it right with the multiple choice, it's one point. And if you get it wrong and your opponent steals, it is one point for your opponent. So, Omer, of those six seasons, where are we going first? So just like Mr. O'Kane, I'm coming for the earl early days, the old school. Give mm -hmm. me Marquesas. All right. So just like and it was actually Marquesas that we started with last week as well. So there we here we go. Uh, Boston Rob is tied in fourth place in Survivor history with 24 votes against him in his career. Who from Marquesas cast the first of these votes? So it's the um, first person to I ever believe... vote for Boston Rob. It was the guy that also applied to be on Survivor again and got partway through casting before they realized he was already on the show, Mr. Gabriel Cade. Gabriel Cade for two points. Omer, you're off to a, a great start. I don't think I, I knew that story, but that is fascinating, and I'm not really surprised that the uh, Survivor uh, casting producers didn't re recognize Gabriel. <laughs> like, We're not making the same mistake twice. Yeah. <laughs> he's He wanted a, he wanted a second adventure, uh, but he's, yes, the yeah. first person to ever vote for uh, Boston Rob. And like I said before, Boston Rob tied in fourth place uh, with 24 votes. Uh, he, he's tied with uh, Jonathan Penner and, and Laura Moret, so some, some big names on that list of, of of votes against in their survivor career. So Omer, you start with two. We are going to Rob. Rob, which season do you want? Um, sure. I'll, I'll go back to Survivor 45. 
All right, 45, just like last week, following the same formula, Rob is going to the new era. Mm -hmm. Um, In the episode in which Twish alumnus Brando was voted out, Austin famously was sent to the summit where he did not get a sandwich. Which other two players went with him and received the three-part amulet advantage? Okay. Somebody that I uh, just spoke to, uh, Kelly and J. Maya. Kelly and J. Maya... That is correct, Rob. You tie Omer, so we are we are tied two to two. Uh, great job, and uh, and Omer. So the, for the last two weeks, Brando and Jake uh, both did a a recap of their Twitch appearance on Twitch. Uh, they they uh, were were uh, doing commentary on their own episode. So oh. Omer, do you take the pledge of of being the third contestant in a row to Twitch stream their their Twitch appearance? No, I don't know how to Twitch. <laughs> That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I could do, um, I don't know, maybe I'll tweet about it. But also, I have beef with Rob, by the way, Why? because I heard Banu's exit interview. And yes. you're telling me that the Roseanne Sester Nino was going to shout out one Indian on the show. And it wasn't me. It was Banu. I don't I don't like it. Roseanne. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. If I, like, you know. I, think, I guess you have more beef with uh, with Roseanne than Rob. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, she, he's her son. I don't know that, but she that, were you playing to win a million hearts? I was playing to win Roseanne's heart. Mm-hmm. I remember well, her on episode you, 11. Yeah, you should have cried more. Like, <laughs> damn it. Okay, next mm-hmm. time. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. You never got okay. on your on your knees and, and begged for uh, for someone to vote with you. <laughs> I would beg for a Roseanne shout out. I'll do it right now. Okay, if you think my mom is listening to Twitch. Oh, she li- she, of course she's listening. You don't, you don't think she listens? All, all the Sesterninos are listening to Twitch. I mean, she might actually ter- listen to the exit interview and then turn it off. By nobody's the time ever, nobody's yeah. ever done that before. I think she's she's a Twitch yeah. only. She just watches yeah. the, the Twitch video. And, You're so close because she's probably, she might check out this podcast, but, you know, no way she's sticking around for the trivia. Mm, but that now she, she's not getting name dropped. On, well, except for the last week, she's the other exit interview. She's not getting name dropped. Uh, she's getting name dropped on this one. So let's go to the next season. Uh, Omer, where are we? Are you taking us? Can you repeat our options again? Thailand, Thailand, Palau, Bloodwater, and Winners at War. I'm going to go with Thailand. Okay. Before the tribal auction, Jeff gave the contestants the opportunity to mutiny to the other tribe, which nobody took. In a confessional, who did Helen say should have switched from her Chewigan tribe to Sukjai? Um, it was the bat mother herself, Jan Gentry. Jan Gentry is correct on the previous vote. Wow. She had voted against Clay in the minority, and Helen said yeah. that she probably would have been the next one out. Had, they never ended up losing, so it didn't matter. Uh, but uh, tough yes. question. And is, Jan and names are like, also, a, like from a confessional. From a confessional, but it is it is based on on the previous vote, so it does it does make sense. Uh, that that is uh, absolutely correct. Omer has uh, four points. Rob, you are looking to tie it up. We can either go to uh, uh, Palau, Bloodwater, or Winners of War. Um, tough choice. Um, I will go with um, I'll go with Winners at War. Okay. After the swap, who found the Yara tribe idol and had to give half of it to a tribe mate before sundown in order to activate it? Uh, I believe it was Sophie G. Clark. Sophie G. Clark was on the Yara tribe. Yes. The person who was shared with was Sarah Lucina, so that would have been incorrect. But yes, Sophie G. Clark okay. is correct. You did not need to get the uh, the middle I feel initial. Like this question was asked did. before on Twitch. It's possible. It's mm-hmm. a lot. Of, we we've done a lot. We've done a lot of these. It's it's uh, it's it's probably been asked, uh, but that is correct. I feel like the question that I maybe asked was who did she share it with. But I'm not 100 percent sure about that. You can fact check yeah, me if you're listening. Go back, go back and listen to all the twitches, and and uh, you can go back and, and fact check that. But we are tied, uh, Omer. Um, we have uh, Palau or Blood versus Water. Palau. Okay, Survivor Palau. At the tribal in which Angie was voted out, Karor was able to watch and eat beef stew, and also vote for one of the oolongs to receive immunity. By a vote of three to two to two to one, who did they choose to be immune? Um, that would be my boy, Ibrahim. Ibrahim is <sighs> correct. Uh, this was a big advantage, I think, because they got to watch the whole tribal before anyone knew about this twist. And that they was got the to, difference like, maker, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it probably would have been him because he, he messed up in the, in the immunity challenge, but then they ended up voting out, out, out Angie. So I think, I, I mean, I'm sure it just changes the order of mm-hmm. who, uh, who Oolong had to vote out, but uh, that is correct. Omer, you are a uh, have a perfect six points, which means you put Rob in a position where he cannot go for multiple choice. He has to get this oh my one right. God. Yeah. We are going to Survivor Blood versus Water. Yeah. After a strong run on yeah. Redemption Sam, Island. Can we uh, some dumb dumbos out here uh, in this <laughs> Twish competition again? Come on. <laughs> and also, um, maybe, Rob, you would get this question right if you and Nicole had not declined your invite to the season. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that Jordan wouldn't have asked it, I think. Yeah. Well, the, I did. I have pitched a couple people who I've, I've said to Sam, like, oh, this person probably doesn't know a lot of trivia, but they would be front fun. Maybe maybe these are the people that we need. But, but Rob, you are in yeah. a tough spot right now. We're going to Bloodwater. Uh, after a strong run on Redemption Island, Candace lost the challenge in this episode and was mm-hmm. officially eliminated. Who were the two players who defeated her? Wow, two, two players. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to say it was John Cody, and I'm going to say it was. Uh, I'm gonna. Assume Laura Moret was there at this time. I'll say Laura and John. Laura and John. So John Cody, her Homer husband, shaking his head. No, was one of the players. Yes. Uh, the other one, unfortunately, Rob was not Laura Moret. Uh, Omer, per, per the you've won already, but per the rules of the quiz, you could steal a point here. Who's the other one? F you, Brad Culpepper. That's what Rob is saying right now. F you, Brad Culpepper. <laughs> Omer steals the point and wins by a score of seven to four. Rob, a hundred dollars and and Omer. What is the the charity again? The Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. Get a hundred macaroonies wow. from the pockets of Rob Sesternino. I want to yes. do a tiebreaker, Rob. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that do not have that recollection of that. Brad uh, was winning on the um, Redemption Island. My I, bad. I believe it was just one challenge one that time, he won. And then and then Laura gets voted out in this episode. Okay. All right. Well, that's bad on me. Congratulations to Omer, who I, I think if we got put all of the trivia champs together, I think my money would be on Omer. Let's do it. I'm ready, Jake. Mm-hmm. I know. I, d- I did say last week after we finished recording, I think that right now, and this is only of people who have done the quiz, I think that there, that we've maybe established a little bit of a Mount Rushmore. The, the people that I think I would stack up against anyone else in trivia, you're two of them. Jake, after last week, I didn't realize how good he was mm-hmm. until he came on last week. And I think our first guest, who, who also beat you, Rob Dwight, I think is on there too. But I think there's some people who haven't played yet that probably are going to be playing. I mean, Dwight knew all the questions or, about the new era, but yeah. he did not really know anything from the old era, seemingly. Well, I mean, he's he's done well in other trivia games. He's I I think he's definitely the new the new era king right now potentially. I I mean, yes, it was his own his own season, uh, but I I think he might be on there. I do <laughs> he think does that there know are most about his own season. He he's but he wasn't even there for for like half of it. Give me mm-hmm. Donlin. Give me yes. Carmine. Well, that's that's what I'm Give saying. Like Owen. there are I think there are some people who have never played who mm-hmm. are untested, but they're they're like uh it's like it's like the AAA. We haven't called them up to the big leagues yet. Okay. All right. So actually, so I'm back down to a losing record on the season, right? I'm uh two wins and three losses now. Yeah. These these uh, new era wow. Titans don't play around, okay. Rob. All right, boy. If I can go 500 on the season, I think I'd be happy. But okay, great job by you, Omer. Omer, what's coming up for you? Um, not much really. Marianne's wedding is coming up. We're going to have a great time. And, uh, that's about it. Okay. All right. Animals. Well, great job. Keep up the good work. Jordan for you. Follow me on Twitter at Jordan Kalish. As always, uh, we have the, uh, the New York city viewing parties. Let me know if you're, uh, if you're in- interested in ever attending those, we do it every week. Uh, but yeah, catch, catch me next week with, I'm sure another great guest where Rob, Rob will try to uh, get his record back up to 500. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a lot. Do we not get a, a verbal fun. rebus. What is uh, that? Unfortunately, oh! our record, we did no, no verbal rebus this week, but unless wow. we could, could we, could we make a verbal rebus for the next, for next week's guest? Probably not. That would take too much time. Yeah. The reason why I, I will tell you that our recording time was, was moved up this week. The verbal rebus is usually the thing I do last before we start mm. recording. So I did not have time. Mm. I had to, I had to drive home for this. I, 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 got in my car and I was like, damn, the whole time I was like, it's not going to be a verbal rebus for Omer. He's going to be like, shame. I'll, I'll send you one and you can do it yourself. And maybe okay. we could, uh, we could tweet it out. Mm-hmm. All right.
Why don't you just tweet out a regular rebus for people? <laughs> that wouldn't. Yeah, that's right. It wouldn't really be a verbal rebus if I'm tweeting it to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Jordan. Great job. We'll be back uh, next week. Thank you, everybody, for checking out this week in Survivor history trivia battle and our exit interview once again. We'll be back with uh, a big Thursday here. Uh, know it alls a little bit later on in the day today on Thursday. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.